Hello, this is Dr. Roddy Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt and head instructor of Tampa, Florida, judo. Today, I would like to speak with you about the sweet spot or the scissor sweep. See, every move has a sweet spot. Uchimata has it. Osoto Gari has it. Kouchi Gari has it. The over-under guard pass has it. And so does the scissor sweep. See, the sweet spot if you will, is that point of the movement where things seem effortless, where they seem like they're happening automagically. It seems like it actually is happening by itself. All you're doing is briefly thinking about it and then it comes into existence. This happens for Olympic weightlifters all the time. They can tell you that when they hit their personal best, that the weight just seems light. That's because they hit the sweet spot in each part of the movement. They were actually able to achieve the perfect repetition through doing everything right at the right time. Well, if you didn't know, there are actually two sweet spots. There's a mental sweet spot, and then there's a physical sweet spot. Because if you cannot see yourself doing the move correctly in your mind, it's impossible for you to manifest the movement in the natural. If you walk around saying that I'm, I'm better in the snatch than I am in the clean and jerk, you'll never be world class in both. You will not achieve that until you say, I have a world class clean and jerk and I have a world class snatch. Only then will you be a world class lifter and achieve that mental sweet spot. Now, when it comes to BJJ and judo, as a BJJ practitioner and a judo player, you must find the sweet spot to the scissor sweep. The sweet spot attitudinally, the sweet spot cognitively, and the sweet spot physically. This is one of the main reasons why I want my clients to practice moves on their quote-unquote bad side first. It's not only based upon the principle of bilateral transfer, which you can Google if you need to, but it's also so that I can eliminate the belief of a good side and a bad side. See, there is no such thing as a good side or a bad side. There's a side that you have practiced on more than the other. That's it. So in achieving your sweet spot for success with the scissor sweep, here's what you must do. One, eliminate the negative thoughts that you have about the scissor sweep. It's a simple move. I learned it before. I learned this as a white belt. It doesn't work on higher belts. All that stuff is false. Eliminate the belief that you have a good side or a bad side. You do not. You only have a side that you haven't practiced on as much as the other one. Practice on your side that does not get most of the practice. That side gets a little bit jealous. Make up for it. Number three, do numbers one and two and achieve your attitudinal sweet spot. And number four, follow and watch all the videos on the scissor sweep which have been released thus far in the ebook, which you can get at www.scissorsweepsecrets.com. This will allow you to work on your cognitive reps and achieve your mental sweet spot. And then number five, follow the repetition charts that I give you. I'm giving you the repetition charts, the same repetition charts that I give my clients. Follow the repetition charts that I give you in the same ebook, which I have gifted to you at www.scissorsweepsecrets.com scissorsweepsecrets.com and achieve your sweet spot on the scissor sweep by paying attention to the twos and fews that make the move work. Do the best you can until I release scissor sweep secrets, which will be very soon. That's it. Take care and I'll make sure to follow us on Instagram at instagram.com forward slash the scissor sweep or www.twitter.com forward slash the scissor sweep or www.thescissorsweep.com to access our Facebook page. Take care and have a great day. Uh, this is Dr. Roddy Ferguson and I'm dedicated to your improvement.